Huntress main, you know I had to cover this. Alongside a new chapter and an assortment of killer buffs, the Huntress somehow made her way onto the list. Behavior decided that the Huntress was in a dire need of a buff for us to have to pay respects to the twins by increasing some values in her kit. The Huntress now carries seven hatchets by default. Insane. The Huntress now moves at 3.54 meters per second while holding a hatchet. Insane. The Huntress winds up a hatchet in 0.9 seconds down from one. Okay, I'm on board for that. So for today's video, I wanted to show you what it's like if you run Infantry Belt in Leather Loop to carry 10 hatchets, and Flower Babushka with Shiny Pin to really give survivors no way of getting out alive. Also, please go sub to my all channel. Thank you. All right, Greenville Squared, the newest map is coming with the all new chapter, All Things Wicked, playing the Huntress. If you notice something really interesting in the bottom left corner of the screen, I have 10 hatchets, which is insane. So one of the suggested changes that is being tested currently in the PTB is base kit carrying hatchets up to seven was five. So you essentially get infantry belt at base kit, but now you get to add infantry belt in leather loop and you get yourself 10 hatchets in total. So everything goes according to plan. You can kind of just dinger everybody and not really be at a massive risk of missing things, right? And if you miss, it doesn't matter because you have so many hatchets available to you. Three hatchets, one down, one injured. I still have seven more to go. It's bananas. Another thing that they did change too is they increased the Huntress movement speed. So you see if I hold a hatchet like this and move three at 3.54 meters per second, if I'm not mistaken, which is a little bit shy slower than, uh, you know, what the uh, survivor moves at. But you're going to be able to get so many more hits than you normally wouldn't have because of this stuff, which is crazy. I haven't reloaded once. I'm still sitting at five hatchets. That's a tree, though. Oops. They also decreased the wind-up time to 0 0.9 seconds was one. So nothing, like, super insane, but you definitely feel it. You don't have to run, like, Flower Babushka or anything like that anymore. Double pallets, really fun. You can kind of just zoom around and mind game things, right? <laughs> it's just so damn fast. It's crazy. After this match, we're definitely going to try the yellow shiny pin add-on, which increases my speed by 5% while holding a hatchet. So pairing that with this new base mechanic is going to be a little interesting to see. So I can just hold, I guess, some prime. Make them run. Oh, I missed both. Shit. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Missed them both again. Doesn't matter. You just shoot them all. You just shoot, you just shoot as many hatches as you, as you like. <laughs> At the end of the day, you still have so many to go with. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just throwing so many at him. Like, you don't have to be the most accurate thing in the world either. All right. Here we go. Well, that should be all of the Grim Embraces. Also, forgot to mention... Ooh. Forgot to mention that finding games like the third day of the PTB are kind of difficult, if I'm being honest. He's really playing it. <laughs> Shit, man. Alrighty. I don't know who I'm chasing. They're all they're all the same. There's just so many uh so many goth babes. It's not much, but you definitely feel the wind up. You definitely feel it. It feels good. And we haven't gotten a chance to run like Flower Babushka or Mana Grass Spray or anything with it yet. I think on our next attempt, we're gonna run the shiny pin in like probably Babushka there. Just so fast, it's insane. Now, being a Huntress main myself, obviously these changes are great. I like them a lot. But on the scale of things being fair, I think she being 3.54 meters per second while holding a hatchet is a little too fast. I think so. For the sake of being fair. Sorry, buddy. There you go. That's the thing is like you have just like with infantry belt and leather loop, you just have so many shots. There's no reason for you not to throw things all the time. There's really no reason. You just take as many shots as you want. Who's gonna stop you? There's no reason to stop. Just keep throwing and keep throwing and keep throwing. Okay, they got the first gen done. Toxic. Somebody's back over here. I'm just gonna lob a, just lob a few, I suppose, and maybe one of them will hit. We'll see. Fingers crossed. All right, we have we have three goths back here. They're everywhere. There's so many goths. There's so many goths. Ah! 
Look at this. Look at what look at what she can do. Just double back and then she's right here. What can you do? It's crazy. I would imagine with shiny pin it's gonna be even more crazy. Yeah, I don't see anybody here. If there's any beamers in the lobby, I'll let them get a freebie if they're here. Oh, that guy's that guy's toast. Okay, they're healing up in the uh, in the main building. I haven't really this is my first time playing this map as the Huntress. I haven't really gotten a chance to see what this is all about. But we have uh, three hatchets left. We could potentially do a lot of damage. We'll see. They're bolting downstairs. That's one. Two. Three. <laughs> God, man, it's fucking crazy. Uh, did he get there in time? I don't know if they did. Oh, they died. Damn. I think we may have went a little too hard. We missed a lot of hatches too, but why not? You know? You gotta throw. Ten hatchets. It's crazy. All right, they're healing. They're healing somewhere out here. Let's go find the other ones. Nope, they're, they're definitely up here. We've done this part already. Yeah, definitely not trying, <laughs> really not trying to tunnel. I just don't know who, who's who. Looks like she went out the backside of the movie theater. Maybe we can catch her over here. Let's look how fast we are. It's crazy. Go. Like, what are you really supposed to do? You know? All it takes is one double back, and then you can catch him on the other side, and you're good to go. Now, obviously, she's gaining on me. She is, she is faster than I am, but now we're getting bloodlust. So now we're moving a little bit faster. We just go all the way around the tile, holding a, one hatchet the entire time. <laughs> bloodlust, too. Don't look like you can. Even all the, all the warning shots. It doesn't matter if you miss or not. It doesn't matter. You just have so many. Let's try the shiny pin with Flower Babushka. So Flower Babushka is, at the time, is the strongest wind-up add-on in the game. And then we're also going to bring shiny pin, which is going to make you 5% faster while holding a hatchet. Let's give that a shot. All right, same map. Different add-ons. We're running Flower Babushka, so our wind-up time is going to be 10% faster, which is already faster than base kit. And we're also running Shiny Pin, which increases my movement speed while holding a hatchet by 5%, which is nice. As you see here, I'm not running any additional hatchet add-ons. So base kit, I'm at 7, which is kind of crazy. Here, feetsies. All right, here we go. Wind-up. Oh, bounce landing. Very fast. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. So we're essentially getting infantry belt for free, which is kind of bananas. God, look how fast we are. Look at this. That's crazy talk. All right, one down, one there. We have some more. God, look how fast we are, dude. Ah, missed. Damn. All right, let's reload. Perfect, Mundo. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go fast we are. It's nuts. That's the wind up. Ah, oh, damn. It's okay. We still we, we're still in chase with this. Yeah, seems pretty fair to me. <laughs> yeah, you get someone in a garbage loop like that, they're in they're in big trouble, dude. Good heavens. I think I want to go like maybe this way, perhaps. I bet there's like a lot of really cool things you can, like little holes you can throw through and things. Oh, found a meg. Nice. That was an accident. All right. One going to the left, two over there healing. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. That probably doesn't hit anybody, but let's see. Oh, damn close. See how long it takes me to catch her at Shack. Oh, no, she went out here. This is not where you want to go, I promise you. <laughs> Look at this. Do one double back and she just dies. That's it. That's all you need. Nothing on barbecue out here. I think they're probably in the main building again. Yep. See? Grab a brace. 
If I'm being completely honest with you, I think I would much rather prefer having 10 hatchets. Are you down in the actual basement? Ooh, nicely done. Good job. Good job. We just wind up so much faster. It's crazy. So when I first played on this map, if you watched my newest video, which is covering the pig stuff, the doors, I don't know if it maybe just the random spawn I got, but the doors are really, really far. So this map is incredibly deep when you go towards the statue area. Thanks. Bad miss. Double pallet. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're so fast. She throws this, I would imagine. There we go. All right, my obsession is Meg. She's also dead on hook. So we're gonna use Grim Embrace to see exactly where she is at. She's on that gen right over there. I got a survivor at shack window. Two in here, actually. Let's see if we can catch him over here. But she has balance. We'll just shut it down right there. Let's wind up. Somebody's right here, too. Let's go pull the hatchet. Yeah, there's the Meg. Let's look how fast we are. Where are you going to go? Where, where do you go? You don't go anywhere. Where do you go? <laughs> oh, no. All right, stop playing with the food. So, yeah, very interesting changes that are being proposed. You're getting infantry bell, that base kit, which is nutty. Plus, mixed with the other things that are here. Ah, bad throw. Oh, uh, Claudette's here somewhere. Hmm, I think we get that. So quick. It's a little too fast, if I'm being honest with you. As much as I love how strong she is right now, I definitely believe that she needs to have that base movement speed toned down just a tad, just a little bit. Look at that, you just clear so much stuff. Holy. Where is our friend going? Over the save, it seems. They're both injured, so they should be somewhere. Yeah, dummy back here. Cloud, it's over here. Okay. Oh, she just did the thing. All right, good to know. She was down in the basement. So that's interesting that it makes a, uh, a map wide audible notification for everybody. So she just performed the ritual. She just got out of the basement. She's going upstairs. So now every generator on the map just gained 15 charges, which is pretty cool. So I'm curious, how do you guys feel about that? How do you feel about having the survivor be broken for the rest of the game with weaving spiders? How do you feel about the killer being notified with an audible cue when the ritual is completed? We feel about all that stuff. Let me know in the comments. I'm genuinely curious. GG blouses. Yeah, Huntress feels good. I don't know if any of these changes are going to stay the way they are. I'd be very curious to see. That is pretty much what I wanted to test today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. You get to see exactly how she is. But yeah, shiny pin. The increased movement speed add-on while holding a hatchet, I think, is one of the things that's a little too uh, little too steep, if I'm being honest. And 10 hatchets is nuts, too. Catch you guys in the next one.